Paulo, could you introduce yourself and Wikimedia Portugal? I'm Paulo from Mother Island. I'm in the projects of the Wikimedia movement for 10 years. And I'm also part of Wikimedia Portugal, which is the Portuguese chapter of the Wikimedia movement here. In the How is uh, Wikipedia doing in Portuguese? The Wikipedia in Portuguese? Um, well, it's growing. We just have uh, made our million articles um, I guess it was early this year, or um, touch like a million, touch a million. million. Yes, a million. We are now running for, uh, running for one million and a half. Uh, we have a stable community there. It's it's not growing much. It's kind of uh, of uh, stagnant, a bit stagnant. But you have a big responsibility because Portuguese is a big language. It's a it's a big language, but it, it, we have a kind of a problem there because we only have um, people from Portugal and Brazil, basically. We have like two persons from Angola and almost nobody from other places. Even the expatriates that are in other, co in other countries, uh, which are also Lusophone, of course, they generally they contribute to the Wikipedias of, of the language of those countries. For instance, the Portuguese that live in France, they contribute to the French Wikipedia, not to the Portuguese Wikipedia. So we, we don't have a very rich community there. It's basically... Portuguese and Brazilians and it will be great, really great to to engage people that speak Portuguese from other parts on, on our project. It, it's Actually, it's one, one of my, my dearest projects is to, to get to engage those communities and to make them part of the of, of, of the Wikipedia in Portuguese. You know, I find that the Portuguese Wikipedia has a resources, have some resources which are very unique and important to Goa. You know, particularly where our histories intersect. In a way, we are colonial cousins. Uh, yes, I don't know if if, uh, if they are already there, but they could be easily if we do a project for development of uh, articles related to Goa specifically. If we do it, in particular, if we, if we do it with uh, in an academic way, so that we can go to the to the archives and and research instead of 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 being people doing what they can if it is oriented like in a um, like in a university an academic work uh, we can do that we have a number of universities working with us and that is one, one a possibility to do something oriented on Goa at an academic level and develop the at articles in Portuguese and then uh, translate them into English for instance and from that to co co to co co Konkani. Yeah, you know, I, I certainly understand what you're saying and it's so important because there is a lot of interest from both sides. Only the magic mix of getting exactly. it together is not happening. Exactly. I wish I, we could we could skip the English part of it and we could translate directly from Konkani to Portuguese. Uh, I don't know if, the, if it is on Google Translator. It's not in uh, Google Translate, but we are trying, we are struggling to get Konkani there. Oh, right. It will be preferable to do it dire directly. But if there is no possibility, at least if we could have it translated to English and then to, um, to Portuguese, it will be great to, to learn Konkani, but it's already difficult to do with the language in Latin, yeah. even more to learn a, an entire different alphabet. But uh, I'm sure that if the thing is out there, there will be a lot, we have a lot of people interested in Japan which are learning Japanese to get access to the Japanese staff, especially Brazilians, they have something about Japan. Um, I'm pretty sure that if we divulga if the divulgation was, was greater, there, there will be some Portuguese which will be interested in Konkani to the point that they would learn it and actually could help with the translations of the... Yeah, you know, the building blocks are there because we have a Portuguese department at the Goa University. But somehow we've not been able to get them involved with the Wikipedia. We hope to. You Have you have you talked with them? To yeah, yeah, they are our good friends. They are our good friends. Uh, we, know the, we know the assistant professors, the young people there. Uh, you know, the head of department, the former head of department. But... Uh, uh, we, at Wikimedia Portugal, we have a partnership with... Um, the Cathedra Infante do Henrique, which is, um, it's a, uh, how do you say, a share of the university, which is dedicated to global studies. So it's very easy to do. 
a connection, an academic co- connection through that, through that. The other issue which we face is that there are lots of resources related to the Portuguese in Goa which are not being studied. So we need, we feel the need to link up between researchers in Goa and the professors here, or professors in Goa and researchers here who can work together on these subjects. Uh, sorry, uh, the you know, just linking up between uh, people there and people here. Actually, yes, and we can actually actually uh, profit on um, a collaboration that we already have uh, dealed with with Fundação Orient, which uh, is very active on Goa and the whole yeah. Orient. Uh, to to carry that, they um, they probably will be very interested in that and could help us concretize that, that, that connection. So between uh, Brazil and Portugal, what is the involvement in the Wikipedia? Who does more work? Who does what? Mo- Who does more work between Brazil and uh, Portugal? We are like eight millions or so, or t- between eight and ten millions in Portugal, and they are like two hundred and twenty in Brazil. So it's very difficult to compete in those numbers. However, um, in general, the levels of education are, well, it, it, this thing is changing quickly, but levels, in, at least in the beginning of the project, levels in the education in Portugal were significantly higher than in Brazil. So there was a lot of uh, input, which was in, in Portuguese of Portugal initially. Now the balance is changing. However, in 2011, it started started uh, uh, happening some strife about that the, um, with long language colonization from one side to the other in more specifically from Brazil to Portugal like a counter colonization which is very annoying to um, to Portuguese people uh, that their stuff is writing on Brazilian to them that's something very annoying here uh, and it was contributing to people to um, not coming to um, to Wikipedia. It was a recurrent thing that I heard, I that Wikipedia is a Brazilian project, everything is in Brazilian. So, in 2011, the community there uh, decided with, with um, a overwhelming support of the Brazilians as well uh, to protect the, um, the language varieties. So, something which is from Portugal will be writing, uh, which is related to Portugal, will, will be writing in, in Portuguese from Portugal, yeah. and something which is related to Brazil Gandhi. will be written in Portuguese to Brazil, and Angola, Mozambique, Goa, all the specificities of the Portuguese will be respected, to the point that when the Timorese community started contributing, they did articles that were almost not percep- perceptible to Portuguese initially, yeah, I see. to um, the normal Portuguese, yeah. um, the most common Portuguese and they were accepted and then they were uh, refined by um, the community keeping the structure yeah. so there is there is a um, I'll read it, the, the rule to protect the, the, the variants of the Portuguese yeah. any suggestions of how Portuguese speakers in Goa all the few can get involved in the Wikipedia Portuguese project of the Portuguese speakers in, in Goa can get involved in the Portuguese Wikipedia of course uh, well it's just I, I will t- simply um, counsel that uh, to suggest. I would c- suggest that um, it will be better if it, it if it is in an organized project and not randomly, because the ambient in Wikipedia can be very aggressive. And if people collaborate, start collaborating there without a um, very good domain of Portuguese. They could be uh, arrested. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, they could be arrested. It's not. It's not that common as as it is in other Wikipedias, but but it also happens. It happens. So it, if it is under the umbrella of a project, we. It's not only for that. It's because of the, the notari- notability criterion, uh, which which stuff is notable, which is not. Oh, we deal with that in a context that we do not understand. It. We do not have access to the sources, which can be in uh, uh, Konkani, and we do not have access to them. We must have someone from there that can validate that it is true. So it, it should be organized in a project. It doesn't mean that people can't go alone and do what they can, but maybe if it is organized, it will be mo- much more smoother 
um, and protected environment and from them they could progress progress and develop us thank you so much and i really hope we can do something on this front i hope so i'm i'm really hoping so to to do something uh, very concrete uh, between goa and portugal